Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So what we're going to do today is what happens if you get an art supply, particularly in this sense, watercolor markers. Now I get a lot of watercolor markers um, because I just want to learn, you know, and play and that kind of stuff with them. Some don't work real well. Uh, I love the Crayola ones, but you can use, do this with any, you know, anything that you have, but what we're going to do is play with, and maybe it's because I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know why I don't like these, but anyway, they just don't work well for me. So what I have here is a piece of um, watercolor paper. You can use whatever, and I'm going to spray it with some water, and I'm keeping it in my uh, tablet before I rip it out just because it will um, keep it, you know, from rolling as much as it will, you know how it bows. And I'm just kind of squishing that around. Okay, now let's play. Let's do a background for instance, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I like to go light to dark and I'm gonna do yellow. And again, you can use whatever you have. You can even do this with acrylic, I've done it, but I'm just gonna take this. Let's do a background and cut it for ATCs. So I'm just going to kind of, yeah, that's going to be a hard color there to see, but like, there's no pigment coming out. Is it because it's, I mean, I, maybe these aren't watercolor. I swear these were watercolor, but, uh, yeah, water-based ink. So let's see what happens. I just don't, they just don't work how I maybe. I want them more opaque. Who knows? But we're going to play with them anyway. And if they work out good like this, then I will continue. So you can see my papers are already trying to bow. And what's going to happen when you mix? You're going to get some color. Now, I love this part right there. And that's from, obviously, from the... Uh, water. So I'm going to spray. It's almost like you're playing with alcohol inks, right? Like when you put an alcohol ink down, look at that. Let me move in closer. Oh, I like that. Okay. All right. So now let's see what color. Let's do the pink. This is pink. Pink kind of looks like red. Maybe these are almost dead. I don't know. But I mean, you could see on the dry paper. So maybe it works better on dry. So we'll try that next. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should do it on the dry. I don't know. Don't know. You can always let me know in the comments if you've used these and what I'm doing wrong. Because I don't know. I mean, like, I love this. Look, you just touch it and it like, like veins, it vines. It veins, look, with the water, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, I'm going to add a little bit more water, oh, I love that, and I'm just going to scribble some, now you can see how it's like my paper's kind of bowing up a little bit, so, And it's like kind of going that way. So I'll just turn it in a bit. So I'm going to spray that. Spray that. Oh, that's a nice. That's nice. Spray that. Spray more on the outside. Because what's happening is it's kind of like bowing. So it's going up. And this part's kind of going down a little bit. Oh, I love it. And everything's kind of going to the middle. But I'm okay with that. Because I like it. I'm going to use a purpley blue. Blue. Purple. I'm a little colorblind. All right. I hope you guys had a great weekend. It was, uh, it was all right. It was nicer weather than it had been, but I think it's getting cold again. Now there's nothing coming out of there. Come on, baby. All right. Yeah, there's ink in it. So this must be what's making it look not as pigmented. But yeah, so I, I can't, I, I mean, you know, I'm okay with winter, but it's really not winter. It's like in between. It's like that gray 
kind of ick and I want like flowers and probably while I'm sitting here doing this kind of thing because I need some backgrounds and I thought why not speaking of I put some new stuff up on my Etsy I have uh, mixed media papers that you can download you get 10 of them for four dollars there's two different packs I have pack one up and pack two up now and they come as a PDF you can get them and download them on uh, from Etsy as well as prints you guys always ask for prints of my art so I have I think four or five up of the prints uh, for four dollars and you can download it to your computer onto photo paper or you could download it and use it in your mixed media you can't sell them or anything like that but you know they are uh, something that you can hang on your wall or like I said rip apart use in your art journal uh, you can doodle on them whatever you want and I got a lot more stuff coming to my Etsy but those are what's up so far and if there's a piece of art that you like of mine and you want it um, you might want it as a print or whatever let me know and I will uh, put it up in a PDF okay yeah see I'm liking I'm liking that liking that I really like this and I'll I'll hold it up <laughs> I'll hold it up when I'm done so you can see it I'm gonna go in with this orange color just kind of to fill in a little bit and then I'm gonna give it a squirt because we all love a good squirt on the paper okay or wherever you like a good squirt it is all up to you. All right. Again, you can do this with your Crayolas or Rose Art or whatever you have. Markers, you know, paint, water it down. Okay, so I have that. I'm going to do a green. I'm going to keep it light. I have a darker green, but I think I'm just going to kind of just lay this in in some areas. Just to kind of add. Okay. okay. One of the little bris bristles come off, which I'm scrubbing, so I'm sure you know it would happen to anything. I don't want to give too bad of reviews because a lot of their stuff's really good. I love their acrylic paints and stuff. All right, now I'm gonna give it a squirt like this. Oh yeah, it's juicy. Oh, I like it. Okay. I want this. I really, really do. I don't want to put black or anything. I might put a little of the green, this darker green. Let's see if it kind of mellows as it transforms. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is lift it. I just wanted to add a little bit, but that's not doing anything. Okay. I think there's too much water. I think that might be an issue. So I'm going to try, but we're going to lift it this way. I want everything to kind of run. I'm going to lift it this way. Oh, a little drip. Sorry, my dog's barking, of course, as soon as I turn on the camera. I just went and cleaned the kitchen and did all that, and nobody made a peep. Why would they? I was cleaning the kitchen. But look how beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with my heat gun. And this is very uh, subtle, and which I'm okay with. Look at it, how beautiful it's coming. And this helps, you could blow it out a little bit just so it gives some good texture. And we're going to dry it, the majority of it, and see. How it comes out. very pastel it's gorgeous this is a great background that you can really work on so think of it for you know maybe you want to do a painting on your watercolor paper uh, or rip this up and use it on a canvas or we're going to cut it up into an ATC card which i'll do on another video i won't make this one that long 
and then I'll do something on top of it. All right, and I'm going to show you one thing. Yeah, that looks good. Now you can see here it kind of puddled, and that's like what's a crap color? You don't necessarily want that to come back because it's making obviously brown. So I'm just going to tap it. You can work on top of this as well, but let me show you. Look how gorgeous that is. Now, I don't know if these dry permanent or not, because if they do, that's pretty cool. Um, maybe you want this lighter. You don't want it. So all you would do is go back with some water, squirt it down. You can go back and yeah, it comes up a little bit and just dab it to lighten it up. But it's in that paper, so that's pretty good. So that we can really work on top of it. So there, that is, playing with that, that is great. So I'm going to try it on. Let's take this off. Let that dry. All right, this is dry. So let's go in. So I'm just trying to find ways to work with supplies that I have that just sit here because they didn't do as I want them. But look, that is very pigmented. That is definitely pigmented, so... Let's try to get this. Plus, it's clean in the nib. All right, pigmented. Uh, let's do purple. Now, my question do you like put them back in the thing like this and like leave them at a point so that when you go to use them, are they more like, oh, yeah, they're pretty good? Okay, so now let's do some green. Getting these colors coming back. Because that water must have, you know, when you put it in the water, must have diluted, which I love it. I'm not hating on it, definitely. I'd like a shirt. I'm going to have to play with my uh, fabric creations and get me a shirt with that tie dyed. Oh, I love it. Okay, so that's all we'll do. Let's squirt it now. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I guess we're going for another page. So this time I'm just going to kind of run it through so it makes it yeah, run into each other. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. I'm a drippy girl, <laughs> which I guess to some people's gross. Those little things do come out. So, I mean, I'm sure with me scrubbing it, it's not helping things. Um, I'm going to dry it a little bit, like push the water up. Um, so I'm scrubbing it. So I don't know, you know, what other colors do I want in yellow? Let's do yellow and red down here. I'm going to saturate it a bit and see. Now I'm just going to kind of go up in that water a little bit. Look at that. Oh, baby. Yeah. I'm going to do like that. Some yellow over here. See, I love that. Oh, gosh fun to do with the kids too you know on the weekend rainy snowy we're sunny and the kids are bored get some crayola markers or these arteza they're very uh inexpensive and this is not an ad or anything for them <laughs> i just have i got them and they're here and i want to use them okay excuse that all right, so now I'm going to spray some more water. Okay. Oh, look at that red. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to guide it a bit 
just so it stays on the white because I don't necessarily want it to um, go over all the colors and mix. You can see my green and everything's kind of going on there. And I'm going to do like that. I want some more blue up here. I like this here. I'm going to kind of do it there. Do a little bit here. Blue is very pigmented. I'm going to do a little bit here because I want it to mix and make like a purple. All right. No, I'm loving that blue color, which I'm normally a a black one. I love black. I might have to do this with the black and gray. Oh yeah, yeah. That'll be a different video. I'll do it, and then I'll just add music to it. Then, if you want to watch and see what happens to it and play, you can. So you don't have to watch. I'm going to do a second video of the same thing, but just different colors. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, this, let me dry it. You can see it, but now there's another little thing. But, like I said, that's probably from me pushing too hard. Like I said, I am into, like, finding, which I've always on my channel done, how else can I use something? I hate buying something and it being used only for that thing. So I'm all about what else can I do? What else can I do with it? And this is great. Because like I said, you're getting all these different backgrounds. I'm not going to keep you forever watching me dry, but you can see... I love that yellow, the red, the blues, those are beautiful. Okay. And then you have that. And I can always let that drip. Anything that's wet kind of do its thing. But look, oh God, Cal. I mean, you can see, must have dried and blown off. Oh, but look, I got a nice little thing there, which I'm not mad at, but look at that. So... I mean, you really can have a blast and get different looks. And now we have some ATC backgrounds that we can rip up and they are uh, same color scheme, same kind of thing. And I think that's really, uh, really fun. I do. And I, I love that up there and I don't want to cut it off and I don't want to cut this down here. So I'm going to leave it. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battles somebody else is fighting. I'm going to be playing a lot with different things. Uh, and I'll, like I said, I'll let you guys know. I'll put it up as a video um, or that kind of thing. Go check out my Etsy store. The link will be down below. And at the end, go check out some of the new stuff I have. And I'll be adding more stuff uh, this week. And also my Patreon. If you are interested in joining my Patreon, um, there will be certain tiers, uh, like for instance, for $10 a uh, month to be, you know, to support me on Patreon, you will get to pick one or the other of the 10 mixed media sheets. And, um, there's other ones for prints and stuff that I'm, uh, rehashing and doing. So you guys get instant, um, things with it. So that is it. I hope you all have a great day. Please share me around. Leave me a like. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.